Hello everyone. As I've been saying before when I started this project, I am not a YouTuber. I don't even don't like my own voice. And it sounds completely different in uh, microphone compared to how I sound in real life. Anyway, I think it's time for a little update what's uh, been going on. Uh, I finally managed to come to the part where I have released the mercenaries. So now I'm on the stage of uh, getting more into the lore, getting more into starting to write into the rules. And we'll see where that is going to lead to. And I say if so far things have gone uh, well. It's gone quite good actually so far. I'm actually surprised I managed to get uh, get this much work done in such a short time. Because I consider that I work 100% uh, already a real time job. I'm working as an assistant nurse. And... Uh, the moment I had some free time, I immediately sat down and just continued modeling 3D. So it's, uh, I've technically been working a little bit too much. And my cat is very annoying as usual because she demands attention all the time. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go through, through a picture. I'm not gonna talk too much here, I believe. If this thing wants to work. There we go. I think you've seen this, Obaka. I'm going to release uh, the coming weeks a free package when you get one mercenary, a Subaka, one server lock, a spitter, a biter, and a grep lock for free. Uh, you don't get all the models. You got one of the one of the pieces of the part of the models, so you can make one complete model of each of those uh, well models. And um, please stop, stop. Can do your no not do so jävla job. Uh, and uh, I hope there will be a lot of people download it because uh, it's been very tricky. I need to point out when I started this year. Now I think well, there should be at least someone who willing to buy some models and support me and other things like that. It should work fine. So when I upload server lock, which was the first model on Cult 3D, it has one download. I made about six dollar out of that, and that's it. <laughs> I have. My Minity Factory and the Cult 3D outlawed a total of 9 models that are actively designed for the figurine game and <laughs> it is, I'm, like, I'm pretty much a schizophrenic as sitting there talking to myself later because I have no subscribers. I have a very small fan base for the moment and I hope it's uh, as time progressed things will get uh, better. I hope. But we we see. We will get there eventually. Um, Oh yeah, this is the mock-up for Titan. I take photos like this all the time, just keeping up to see how things work and looks like. This is uh, when I start zooming back to the pieces. And I had to print these pieces out all the time to just make sure everything looks good and works okay. In uh, That is not my models, by the way. That's Camon's models. Uh, that everything works and uh, Common Titan was actually really really fun to work with But uh, it was so many parts and it was uh, it's quite a fried guard model But uh, overall I think it was a very cool model. I did a little bit of mistake because this has the uh, the The headpiece that was uh, supposed to sit on the nose uh, it's, not, it's not visible here, but uh, they have an extra thing that's uh, like a 50 cal machine gun on the, the nose and to be honest it did not really look very well. But you, it's not uh, demandable. Uh, part of my game is uh, you design your own things, how you want to set up things. Moving on, the mercenaries. Uh, the beginning, when you're making a new model, is always the difficult part because you don't really know where to start. There are so many options where to start. So, how you start a project and start and creating something new will be determine how the end result will be. 
So I felt most comfortable that I borrowed a T-Pose for Make a Human program, the software, and a model around that model, uh, step by step. So I created the clothes, continued, and then I start to make my own uh, hands and pieces. Now, remember that uh, my game is designed for FDM printers. My game is not made for. Uh, well, it's you can. It is no problem having a resin printer. That's not. That's not what I'm saying. The the, the thing is, uh, you don't need the best of the best stuff out there to get like good qualities. My printers are and they're free. So let's move on. Cut, jävel. Can du vara mer jobbig än? Oh, excuse me. Oh. Sit there. Moving on. Uh, I made a decision, consider that you're not gonna have an army. The only player you play as is a mercenary. The robots, the Sabaka and Titan and other things that's gonna be on the field have a set of sheet of rules that you're going to follow. And uh, let's here's an example. Let's say you have a Sabaka, a robot, an SVD, service work dog, and you can put it in uh, stance: ag offensive, de defensive, aggressive, and the depending on which stance you choose it to be at, depends how that machine will work on the field. So, for example, you put in aggressive mode, it will always move forward closer to enemy and go full on assault. While being defensive, it will always try to back off from the enemies when it is within a... the turn on the distance of the en enemies. And then, yeah, depend I'm not, I'm not, nothing of this is written on paper yet, but I have the picture in my head. Uh, some of the... Oh, we're gonna get into more of that later. What is this? All oh, right. The backpack is actually separated. Boolean tools are the best tools in the universe. They, I'm so happy that Boolean tool, tool exists. Because none of this would be pretty much possible without that tool. Uh, it's what the Boolean tool is. is a function in Blender that you can use another part to chunk out bite something off of another part okay. so you can like get like let's say i put a ball inside a a cube and i use the boolean tool and the ball eats out a, like a a piece of that cube and that's how i make uh, separate parts like heads and backpacks and other things that i want to attach to the model And here we're closing in with the completion of the mercenaries. I don't think... Oh, I do. Okay, good. So here you can see all the parts, really. Uh, I sew everything together at the end, so this, this is just one piece of the model. You have to do this, or this is going to be a lot of problems with other tools later on, when you start uh, attaching the backpacks and other things. Uh, some of the weapons, we have uh, PP-12, uh, SRS-19, VCC, it was called, yes, M80, uh, RPG, and then I have uh, SVD-90. Each weapon is going to have its own properties, and I made a decision not to add uh, any of those weapons directly to the model because they, these are the two uh, weapons so the way how you add them is you put it on your backpack or something and here you can see all the models from uh, the the upload I did to cool 3d and uh, my miniature factory Uh, that was done for those things. Uh, we can look at the, the latest uh, models from uh, my miniature factory I've uploaded. 
Now this was the end result I got from uh, after I completed. Now these are only five centimeter large, and uh, the the worst part with FDM printer printers, it's going to be oh my god, for fun what do you big? Uh, FDM printer are not resin printer. There are going to be limitation, but I still believe that uh, what the F my FDM managed to do was actually kind of good, because these are like very very close up picture, like very very close. And the, another thing was that also annoying was that one of my filament um, is uh, super sensitive for moisture. Like literally how stupid is sen how sensitive it was, and uh, I got so much problem with that filament. I later got a, a dark gray filament, and I used that one instead, and it was so much better. I got a so much better quality with it, and I noted this at pretty much at the end when everything was complete. Uh, one of these models are technically a failure, like the, this model right here. And uh, the reason for it was because uh, there was so much string problems with the FDM printer. But it was not the printer, it was the filament that caused it. And I was so annoyed when I worked with it, I just wanted to paint it, get it done and upload it. This is, uh, I would say, a very large group you see on the field here. Like this is like the end games stuff, and these guys are pretty much going to die because they have just a Subakas and ordinary equipment, and they have a separate standard right beside them and going to rip everything apart. Uh, I just want to talk about uh, one another, one point another thing when it comes to the game. I said before that uh, fucking cat. Du är så jävla jobbig. Jag försöker spela in en video och du bara inte ger dig. Excuse me. Uh, I said before that uh, you're going to set the AI on different type of stance. How you want them to behave and act. And uh, the locknos that uh, going to be the main objective to deal with in the game. Uh, they too have an AI nature. You don't control the opposite team. The team is being behaved after a sheet. Well, how do you call it? A sheets a list. How they are supposed to. And each lock has its own type of nature. Now, the server lock is going to be a real, real big problem because they can actually control and bolster the behavior of the entities they could be they move faster become more aggressive become more can get more toughness or other things like that so that's the point with the opposite team so you don't play the lock nose you only play against them and uh, you play against them uh, against their rules are going to set up for them and it's up to you how you want to play and prepare the field before you encounter and have to deal with the, the, the enemies. I should open up the last thing here. Uh, if this thing wants to work, there we go. Right, so... At my min uh, my miniature factory web page, I have stories. For some reason, this story system is completely broken, and uh, it doesn't show up the the making of the field, Russian field equipment uh, set up, the mercenaries, in other words. And uh, I need to contact uh, the. the Website provided uh, ask them what the hell is going on because it's, it, it, the, what's also weird that when you, I open a cold 3D everything was just straight, straightforward But I really don't like cold 3D because everything is so straightforward. There is no blogging. There is no special um, I cannot write anything down that that belongs directly to the story What cold 3D really is is just a dumpster site for 3D models 
really. But uh, my miniature factory is a more specific design for those who want to make something that is more reliable and be focused on one specific thing like miniature games, tabletop, uh, toys, whatever. But uh, then again, uh, that website is really more designed for uh, more specific design things like, yeah, as I said, tabletops. And the problem, if you want to make some money from that website, you also have to pay a specific fee each month to be able to upload and sell. Uh, no pro I have no problem with that. Uh, I think it's like uh, $24 each month. I can live with that. Oh, no problem, I'm not making any money. The fact is I don't have any, even have any subscribers. I'm gonna upload all the stories to the, the uh, description and um, part one is the, the universe of PMC 3507 it's very straightforward well text and it just says that uh, the Loch Ness issue uh, the insects has uh, grown larger and larger through the next 400 years 400, 500 years, and they, it's come to a point when uh, a city actually got sunk down into a giant sinkhole in Poland. So a city pretty much disappeared because of the insects they are dealing with. And that when they say, this need to address right now, this we really need a full scale war against these things or we won't, we are about to get even more, more bigger problems. Now they Already at three, year 3100, that was the first contact with the Loch Ness development when they find like long, long worm insect creature like that uh, crawl out of Earth. But this was, we're gonna get into that. Uh, I have already uploaded the, the main cause, what's uh, causing this problem. And as each 100 year a new form of mutation started to come up and all of a sudden this creature no longer want a habit on the earth they want a habit on the land instead so they constantly um, mutating very very super fast and trying to push out and then, then later they find out there are multiple types of queens that can make, create its own version of a of a creature without a mate and design it of its own will how they want it to what they want it to do well if it want it's supposed to dig holes it can it will design a specific creature to dig holes if it need to be some sort of warrior to protect its nest or something else it can do that and that uh, comes to uh, the uh, PMC Stories and Lore Part 2, which is about Loco. And Loco was actually a uh, creature that uh, was uh, built by a scientist, uh, Ko von Lau. Uh, he, he was born at already... When was it? I don't have the text in my head right now, but he was year at born uh, 2700, I believe. Regardless, he, the Loco was born in 2958 something, I believe, and uh, the point of Loco was to design a creature that can create things on its own will without a mate and uh, being able to sustain itself by what. Well, Here's the thing, the, if Loco uh, needed food, it could actually create a seed and a new form of tree will be born. And that tree will later on create fruits that has never had taste, that's never been tasted. But uh, as I wrote in the story that uh, the technology behind Loco was never not, nothing new. Uh, Loco herself, the queen, was very unique because all the properties she had 
But then again, uh, what Kuf and Loud did just was reinventing the wheel. No one was impressed. And uh, at year 3004, uh, Lau, Kuf and Lau got really de de desperate, tried to save the company. And in uh, 3005, he committed suicide because he done both data theft and money manipulation and other things. And uh, really, oh, not other things, by the way. He pretty much that data set it was the the main cause why he why he is such a big trouble. So he committed suicide, year three thousand five. And day after, Loco left this facility. No one really cared about this facility at that point because everything was just broke. There was some talk about Kofunlau, a smart scientist that just uh, had his own image and how he wanted to create things and other things and nothing really ended up well. What they didn't know about Loco, that Loco had the potential ability to absolute mass produce creature and a habit almost anything, like it can to be as big as Loco, Loco is uh, twice the size of a cow. Loco live like thousand meter under earth, underground, and can be, and same time be sustainable and live under there and have no issue thriving. And that's really the beginning, and that's obviously where the big problem start. Because how do you deal with a creature that want to go up in earth and live and habit on land? But the problem you need to reach is, is like a thousand meter under Earth. And it's uh, just under 150 years. The network the, the lockdown creator created was so vast, it's already reached all over the world. They were super quick and super fast. And then when they discovered that, uh, they noticed there are queens that are... But Loco created one queen, and that queen created another queen. And now you have two queens creating four queens. Now you have four queens creating eight queens. And all of a sudden you have a giant network of insect-like creatures that are digging grounds and holes everywhere. And uh, that really is the, the beginning of one giant, giant problem. I'm still working on part three. I gonna I have to contact the uh, miniature factory first before what the hell is going on with the story system. I thought it's just a blog system, but anyway, Loco is the beginning of the end. And that's when they discovered, 100 years later, when they discovered these worms, it was that when they checked the DNA on this thing, they realized this is the insect that escaped that facility for 100 years ago. We don't know even where it is. So they were in... Uh, well, they realized after like 300 years later, that we in deep shit, shit, deep shit here. We need to deal with this problem right now. The next part, part 3, is going to be about Dry Ink, which is a company that created the mercenary. It's a special special gene form, Clone 7, and I will get into that later. Yeah, the part 3 isn't uploaded yet. And I haven't decided what part 4 is going to be about yet. Um, This is this is all hard to show for now. Remember, I'm not a YouTuber. I hate making these kind of YouTube videos, but I will try to continue to improve myself So maybe I will get better at it. I cannot read from script. Every time I read from script I get confused and there's just too much in my head it, The only way I can do this is when I'm looking at picture and talk directly from them Right, this is all I have to show for now Take care